Welcome back, baby. We're getting into Kingdom. Kingdom Season 4. I believe this is episode 15. I believe episode 15. And it last episode ended with Tull. He he was getting with well, Tal, he was getting crowned as being a great general, man. So let's see how this bad boy is gonna leave off. Let's see uh, what else interesting things is going to happen, you know, since we got uh, Ace, Ace's, oh, Ace's mother still in the loo. So let's see. Let's check it out, man. Make sure you subscribe, like this video. Let's go ahead and jump into Kingdom now. Animated male. The man who was nothing is now a great general. Daijoubu. Moving on to our two promotions. So he's promoted. Wangbun and Shin of the High Shin unit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Osai. Let's go, Shin. What they get? Come on, what they get promoted to, baby? Are they gonna go straight to what? Come on, what they get promoted to? Given their slang of Z-Bay, both fire dragons, both are hereby promoted to Brigadier commanding 5,000 troops. Only one more, so he's only one more to become a general. I, I want to see like the levels, like where does it start? You know? Let's go. He said you just happened to take his head. You should be ashamed you failed to slay a command. Ah, look at him talking shit. Ah, but sure, go ahead. Be happy. <laughs> He's talking shit. Let's go. <laughs> he said, the hell did you say? They about to square up. You gotta love it. They squared up during the formal ceremony. After the ceremony, <laughs> right after the ceremony, they go straight back to a, to another war. Like, man, they don't get no tens of rest. Demanding 5,000 troops is nothing like three or four. One step below a general. So it's a different type of focus when you're trying to become a general from a brigadier. He denied his promotion. Where you shed your selfishness and get results. Ragadir Shin. Steer this defensive battle. Beside. You know what I mean? She ain't getting no responsibilities, baby. The general I mobilized with my... Damn, hell yeah. If he can do it within five years. Shin is making them efforts. What about you, say? Young king? Damn, eyes growing. So meanwhile, while Shin's getting promoted... Say still dealing with this stuff that's happening with his mom and that I guy. He does not have a, a the confidence of someone who's supposed to be controlling the kingdom. Why don't we put this into our military and take down? So they're already, all, already trying to think about going into another battle. Or trying to take over something instead of investing that money. This season reminds him of his mother's abuse. So his mother used to abuse him. So damn. So he had it rough. To quell his mother's anguish. His, his role as her legitimate child by blood. He's a legitimate child. Uh oh, there's the king's. The king's uh child. New year ceremony was held in the ninth year. Happy new year. Happy new year. I wonder what they do for fun in these times, because I see all we see is war, war in like those brothels. What is he? What is Shane up here stressing up? Also, uh, <laughs> the one he's working beside is being a pain in the ass to a pain in the ass, nagging, flicking, fault. I, lo I love Q and Kai's and Shin's interactions, man. It's all it's always so wholesome. Oh, she's a brigade commander. She can get her own troops. Yeah, man, she's going to expand and do her own thing. Be with the Shin unit to the very end. Ride or die, baby. They don't ever do fillers in this uh, type of series, which is good. And I guess in these times, it's all about defending your kingdom and building up barriers so other outside entities don't come in and take it over. Ugh. Oh, we better have the crowning ceremony? 
Dude, I wonder if they're gonna try to fight and start a war before this damn ceremony. Look at look at him. Look at this guy. Always stroking his damn chin. Real Fui. Real Fui. Is he gonna what is real Fui gonna do? Oh, uh, he's aware that the queen's probably gonna make a move. Right, right, I'm assuming. Envoy Hoken. Look at Lil Isle. Uh, Lil I. The King of Chu rejoices. Uh, I feel like he's gonna get taken down. He just he doesn't have that that aura of a true leader. He's sweating and nervous every time. He's not even confident in his own position. They getting him hype. Uh, you should be referred to as king. Maybe this is a uh, ego. Ego. This is gonna check his ego. It's probably all part of the plan. Oh my gosh, yo. Oh my gosh, yo. She up there consulting with the artist chick. Hong Jack Shogun. Hong Jack Shogun. But it made the, a great drill. So they had a mock battle that ended up show, destroying what a village. They are plotting. Wow. As soon as they see him, oh hi, Osama. They hyping his head. He's more focused on the queen. But he is the king, right? Oh, hi, Osama. He's, he was just a plaything. He has no redeeming traits. Born to a lower class, bullied as a child. He's weak, both in his body and mind. Lacking courage as an adult, and he can't even fight, so he get off that battlefield. And no woman would have him. Bruh. Straight unattracted. So what is his redeeming qualities? Just his, his schlong schlong? Vulgar tricks. Oh, he, he snuck in as a false unit, so he's not a unit. Meaning he can get down with the get down. Look at her, aggressive as hell. Like a p possessed woman, she said, give me this. You gonna give me this. Yeah. Her face twisted in ecstasy. She was crying. She has a lot of pain. Too much trauma. Too much trauma. Oh, now he get on top of her. I can make her. He was a male prostitute. So that's how they bonded. He saw the queen as what? She pregnant? Lord, I shall keep the child. Like, I'm happy you got my baby. Forgive me, forgive me. Having this brat inside me has given me the exact opposite desire. So he, everything he's doing is basically for the queen. They received the top Rika report. Their child. Uh-oh. He's part, dude's part of the plot. He know what's happening. They know what's happening. They plotting. You already know what's about to happen, man. Dude's not set up to be king. And obviously they don't, I mean, I don't. Based on the premise of, you know, the generals conversing with, you know, the, the people that's within I's faction. Man, they're about to take that over. They're about, they're about to start some kind of inner, you know, and, and they're going to take down the queen and they're going to take down King I or whatever. So we'll see how this, uh, this particular part of the story goes because I don't see, I don't see him being a leader, especially considering his past and his upbringing and his personality. Not at all. But it's also interesting that he is bearing the child of the queen, which will actually make his child king, apparently. You know, probably half, you know. But this season, as far as, like, the winter, it's cold. I guess this is, like, a harsh traumatization for both Say and his mother because, you know, he got whooped and they were cold and she always hated this time of season or so. So, yeah, man, it's getting real out here. But shout out to Ohan. Shout out to Shin, you know, getting that promotion. You know what I mean? Stepping it up, you know, to Bragadar, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm probably not, but it is what it is. Uh, but all, all around, I'm enjoying this series and I'm looking forward to more. So let me know your thoughts about this episode. And I will see you beautiful people next time, man. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, bow, 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 bow. and do not forget if there's no one else in this whole wide world that believes in you, I do. So let's get
animated!